on pretty much all of the videos I use either my spray booth and with that obviously my airbrush I get pretty much always two of the same questions. One is which airbrush are you using and the other is what spray booth is it and where can I get that. Now the spray booth that I used to use was a Sparmax SB88. Now I have not been able to find it anymore in any online retailers that ship worldwide, only one in Germany and it was quite pricey. So I decided to give you guys a video on how to make your own. The basics are pretty simple as you could see in this quick SketchUp drawing. You just make a box, drill a hole in the rear for the ventilation. That hole can go either way left, right, top, bottom or whatever in order to uh, go around the opening of the ventilation you will be using but that depends on every single different unit. Now in order to make this spray booth yourself you're going to need some wood and here are the dimensions and the amounts of each size you will need and I have gone for a two centimeter thick plank but that is all up to you. And the other thing is a cheap cooker hood. Now you can go really expensive with a high suction capacity or pretty cheap I went with the cheaper route and having about 200 cubic meters an hour suction capacity and that is more than enough for painting scale models. So after I picked up the wood and had it cut at uh, the hardware store into the sizes as shown on the cut list and I picked up the cooker hood I went to work. So I put a piece of masking tape on the sides and marked off where I wanted to drill some holes in order to make the box put the two top and bottom sides on each other so I only had to drill it one time and not two separate times on both of the pieces. With all the holes drilled I also countersunk the holes on the top so that the screw would lay in nice and flat. After drilling out and countersinking all the holes I started to assemble the box laying it flat on uh, the rear piece then adding the two sides and putting the top in and then starting to assemble it with all the screws. I applied some tape on the top and side piece in order to keep it from shifting around and then drilled the holes through onto the side pieces for the screws to go in and not split the wood. Now before you all start to wonder, yes of course I checked if the box was square just before I screwed everything together because a crooked box is no good and that would drive me crazy. So with it all nice and square I drilled the other holes and put in the screws on the top and bottom side after flipping it around. Then put the rear piece on, drilled some holes after marking them out, countersunk them and started to assemble it. So after marking all the holes out, I first drilled all the ones on the corners, countersunk those and added some screws to keep it in place and then drilled all the other holes. So after building the box, forgetting to show that I drilled the hole in the rear piece for uh, the ventilation hose to go out, I test fitted the cooker hood in there. It was a bit snug, but that is okay as there's less gaps and it looks a lot cleaner. So with that all in place, I did a quick mount up of the LED strips I bought at Ikea, drilled a hole in the side of the box to fit the wires through, and then it was pretty much all ready to go. So with the wires run through I did a quick test and yes they actually work and it looks pretty good nice and bright so you can see a lot of the details. So I put it in place uh, in the attic so I can use it. Now one thing to note this is a spray booth it is home built 
and it is built using a cooker hood. Now this is for fumes of cooking, so it has oils in them, it is hot air, and it can mostly be placed above a stove. So there's also fire. So in my eye, this should be safe uh, using it with paints, and that is my opinion. I'm not exactly sure if this is actually safe, but uh, a lot of friends of mine have used it and a lot of other scale model builders have used it in their uh, lifetime for years and years without any problems or any ignition problems with the fumes of the paints. So according to my opinion, it's safe, but that's all up to me and all up to you to decide if that's actually true or not and if you want to believe it. Now, the last point I want to make is that since this is a spray booth, it needs extraction outside. So that's why I used a cooker hood. It extracts the air, blows it into a hose, and that hose needs to go somewhere. Now, in my uh, situation, I put that hose outside of the window so the air can go outside, and I change the filter every once in a while to keep it a lot cleaner and not have to breathe all that air in. And on top of using this spray booth, I also use a respirator. 